pretty dead because I have been unwell for pretty some months some days but now as because of that there is a big halt in my youtube channel but uh, please keep on your patience i will post it there anytime soon it's, it's fine i mean we are going to transform from this to to this so this skin looks uh yeah pretty Dead. my eyes look droopy and this needs some remodeling so that you know it doesn't look as sick okay so initially for my skin um, I generally use something that is that will hold the makeup on uh, but today I'm gonna use this Pond super light gel because I really want something light on my skin and I really like this moisturizer because it creates that since it has dimethicone, it creates that you know, layer of uh, kind of like a primer uh, for the makeup and it really works into the skin, it rehydrates your skin as well. So this is a very good dupe for the, um, what is the name of that, yeah, Neutrogena, uh, what is the name of that, yeah, Neutrogena Hydro Boost. So this is a very good dupe for that and i really like this one okay and it's reasonable as well the next step is i have found it recently because it works for me since i live in calcutta that is a very humid place and if you don't know yet then calcutta living in calcutta is will make your skin sweat more than anything even if you are not oily so i am pretty dry to combination skins but recently i've seen that there is a sudden change in my uh, skin type i've been more oily uh, which i do not like okay so this is for those areas where i tend to sweat a lot this is the pond's white beauty cream if you don't know this then this cream then the garnier light one i i have that one as well and also the fair and lovely ones okay they have been in soup regarding this white word okay so i'm not using it as a whitening cream because it absolutely does not work as a whitening cream however it does minimize some pores and makes it less visible so for that i'm using this and also i'm using it onto some areas which i guess requires some um, pore minimization understanding what's in there and how wrong it is of brands to promote something white in india which is already a brown country we are denoted as brown people this makes no sense but you can see that this has minimized some of my pores onto my nose, onto my forehead and onto my chin, around my mouth. Whereas this side you can see a glow, a dewiness onto my skin. I like this combination even more. I do not prefer generally primers. However, I did go through this Swiss Beauty's Pearl Primer. This is the Pore Zero Primer and if i i'll do a review on how this is what this is um and all some other uh, products that i've recently purchased so this is the swiss beauty's pearl primer i'm gonna take one pump this comes in a beautiful bottle though yeah it has a silver pumping system like this it's dirty and this is how it looks like I'm going to take a little bit of it and I will use on two places which requires even more pore minimizing. And today since I use the Swiss Beauty's primer, let's get into the Swiss Beauty's high coverage foundation. And this also comes in a beautiful pump in a 30 ml product. Okay.
this is a bit more whitish uh, but this more matches with my yeah with my chest area yeah make my skin more dewy and glowy onto certain points before i set everything in with powder i'm gonna take <coughs> the i'm gonna take the iconic london uh, highlighting illuminating drops and a little bit onto my hand yeah this is shade 02 okay a bit of foundation let's first blend that in with my brush this is how it looks like use it to highlight the highest points of my cheek And then I will buff it in to the skin. Oh my god. Can you see the difference over here? Oh my god. I really like this glow. Okay. I'm sucker for a really good wet look uh, if you know me yet you know how i really love that makeup revelation x soft palette the highlighter palette it has a blinding highlighters and i really love those those are powder highlights and everything i mean this will look even more warm with the powder highlights but however i really like this uh, glow mixed with the skin the foundation it's melted onto the skin it looks so damn good with everything and if you know me why i didn't use concealer yet that is because if there is any shine over here by chance due to this highlighting process i can easily cover that up the swiss beauty is concealer in the shade 04 and boom 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 little bit goes a really long way i will blend this with my fingers so i will just use this brush this is a flat this is a dome shaped brush but while mega glow contouring palette powder so i'm just using it under my eyes to make sure it does not crease and i will use a big shaped dome powder for the rest of my face that i have not used any kind of highlighter liquid highlighter So of course this creates a beautiful base for contouring. I take a little bit of an angular brush like, like this one, this is a bit angular and I will use it, tap it onto the contouring powder and I will tap it onto places where I need some shaping. I will only focus up till here. get it this is the glow that i'm seeing uh, you see that body glow this is what we are talking that wet sort of bombing highlighter uh, what the hell looks even more fantastic onto the skin do you see this look like from where we have come i do not look dead anymore and that is what I wanted. So I'm going to take the Huda Beauty uh, Rose Gold Remastered Palette. And from here I'm going to take the shade Coco. And lightly dust it onto my eyes. And on the center I'll use this shade. This is the shade 
less like look at that shade then we have the shade moon dust where should i put it here this is even more blinding than this shade and then we have the shade called bubbly right then we have the shade called trust fund then we have the shade called fooling it's too close right then we have the shade called dubai then we have the shade called rose gold I mean yeah okay then we have the shade called pink diamond okay not bad lastly we have some 24 karat gold i mean look at those shades they look bomb on my hand they look so bomb in real life as well let's get on to with the shade called bubbly and moon dust mix it together with less just do it on to my eyelid this is the easiest way to do your eye shadow if you have these kind of brushes because then you do not need that crazy need to blend and blend and add and use the lakme's iconic eyeliner and uh, this needs little work yeah okay so let's flick out some wing it's going to be a very really common way Now I'm going to take a lip liner and I'm going to overline my lips. Overline my lips. Then I'm going to take the Lakme's Forever Matte Lipstick in the shade 19 Nude Twist and Okay. to try I swear to god this is more nude my glam's molten matte lipstick and I am in the shade called MM07 Dio so this is a for more shimmery kind of I no this camera does not do justice so I'm going to put it onto the center of my lips On top of that, I use the Blue Heavens lipstick in the shade One One. It is eleven. This is a classic nude. Just onto the center of my lips. Here. So finally, let's use a lip gloss from Swiss Beauty. Yeah. On top. I did a long ponytail. I have forgotten to put on some blush. So this is the Mars La Flush palette, and I'm gonna go in with a more peach tone shade. How deep is your love? Just a little bit onto my highlighter brush this time because I do not want crazy payoff of color. Just a little bit will go a long way. Mm. This 
is looking good. I'm pretty much loving how this is looking. So I really love how this really looks onto my skin. I mean, this is probably the new trend of Instagram model makeup look. And there has been a long time since I've gone to a beach or a pool. I miss it. So I really love that way. 